Devon's Tech. Devon's Tech. Hey, Devon here from Devon.ca, Devon's Tech and Retro PC Gamers. I'm here to present to you my Venom PC mod. This mod has taken a little bit of time, but not too much time. Kind of a interesting thing, and um, well, I'll just flat out admit we kind of cheaped things off and uh, jumped on the whole Venom bandwagon. Really, this is my uh, Extreme Pentium build and uh, that I built for my son, and we went with, um, well, just what I had for resources at the time, and the green themes and green LED strips and stuff, and uh, well, you know, the Venom thing was popular, so I was like, oh, hey, yeah, I think I got a Venom action figure in my room. So what did I do? I went, looked around, found this Venom action figure, and it turned out, well, his symbol on the front was already kind of like a greenish, uh, and still haven't figured out why or what the deal was with that. Looked up different variations of Venom, there's a toxic one, but he doesn't look green at all. It's like brown and red and weird stuff, so... Nonetheless, I was like, whatever, you know, let's uh, let's make this work. So we added in these nice uh, cable mod cables here from V1 Tech. Oop, looks like that fell down there. So we added in these uh, nice cable modded cables here from V1 Tech. Uh, like to give a shout out to them. Thank you very much, V1 Tech, for helping sponsor with these cables here. Make sure to check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Please uh, use our referral link as uh, that helps us out. And uh, we also got, well, for our setup pictures and uh, this video, I had to switch down to this smaller monitor to make it easier to be visible. So, but if you take a look at photos of Instagram, other places, you see my big 42 inch done with the setup for this and uh, we got our first player gaming keyboard and uh, first player mouse here I'd like to give a shout out as well to the first player say thank you very much for sending on this stuff over here and uh, make sure to check them out on the Amazon new egg stuff like that they got lots of uh, great peripherals and power supplies some other stuff so yeah nonetheless uh, into the mod what we did here is we got a uh, interesting build I wanted to put together, and it's a very interesting Pentium. Um, is it Pentium D uh, 930 or something? One of their high, um, highest processors for the Pentium D series here with their custom original cooler. I wanted to kind of show off like the older tech and stuff. So, this is a retro PC build. And what we did then is we took some extra spare plexiglass I had. I wish I had a bigger piece at the time to showing off more of it but we cut out a little window and stuff there and then put in some blue LEDs behind it to light it up there so you can kind of see inside and see a bit of the actual heat sink and then we got um, a ATI Radeon Sapphire HD 3850 PCI video card with the heat sink custom painted and then we got our cable mods, we got a Patriot solid state drive up in there, so this is running off the solid state drive. We got uh, four sticks of RAM in there to total three gigabytes of RAM with some custom heat spreaders on it. So, and we got a custom paint job on the inside, uh, cut out some of the holes in the back for better airflow as well as the front, and then we got a green LED fan there, so that kind of sums up most of it. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is going to show you some footage next of uh, the different build process of some of the different photos I took while building the build here and uh, hope you enjoy the video and uh, the photos that we took and we'll show some of the photos of the finished product with the setup and some video footage that we took of the build uh, when it was all done. So anyway, um, check the footage out here now.
Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that footage and uh, pictures and whatnot. So uh, appreciate you checking out my video and checking out my Venom PC mod that I put together here. Well, I guess also kind of extreme pendium, but whatever. Either way, this is a showcasing video and footage, photos, whatnot for this build. And I grabbed up that cool picture, kind of matches in. It's got like the green sewer behind it, so all kind of came together nice. Um, I'm I'm personally glad with the work that I did with it. I thought it was pretty decent for um, you know what I had to work with with it. And um, yeah, that about sums it up. So, anyways, make sure to check out retropcgamers.com. Um, links to the rest of our social media available on there. We're big with our Facebook group, that's our main focus. Um, also, the Instagram. Every day we pop up the new uh, daily theme meme, so that's been kind of a cool thing we've been having going for a little bit now. Make sure to check them out. Some neat photos and like little memes that we put together. And then uh, there's the TeffensTech.com as well. Check that out for not just mine, but lots of other people's, um, well, not on the website yet, but it will be soon. But there's links to our other social media. And what we do is uh, feature not just mine, but other people's different computer mods, um, news updates, technology things, anything to do with thermal, electronic, fluid, uh, engineering related stuff. And it's a uh, network, so T-E-F-E-N. Teffens Tech, uh, so Thermal Electronic Fluid Engineering Networks Tech. So, yeah, uh, make sure to check that out. And for myself and my own personal PC mods and all my own content, check out teffen.ca. I actually got my website up finally, so go check that out. Uh, i got some things on there. I'll be adding more content as uh, I'm able to, and links to the rest of my social media on there as well. So, anyways, thanks for watching this video, and have a very happy day. Tell